Persian tundra is located around Arctic circles. It covers 20% Earth's surface, just below the frozen area. It doesn't grow trees. The tundra is above the tree line, which means it doesn't have tree. The abiotic factors affecting the Russian tundra are such things like weather, which can involve strong wind and little rainfall. In summer, they have long days, and their winters are long, dark, and cold. The ground is not good for plants, as the soil is poor and has not a lot of nutrients. This is because the subsoil layer is permanently frozen. The tundra has 1,700 different species of plants. This isn't a lot, considering it's such a large area. The plants mainly consist of shrubs, mosses, grasses, and 400 varieties of flowers. The growing season lasts for only 50 to 60 days. There are no trees. The climate is too cold and beneath the ground there is a frozen solid layer of soil so tree roots can't grow through it. There are same consumers and herbivores, carnivores in tundra. The tundra's food chain can be divided four parts. Firstly, the polar bears are large carnivores in tundra. It hunts and eats meat. Also, white wolves are large carnivores. Thirdly, uh, secondly, snowy wolves which eat a variety of meat such as mice, small birds, and arctic foxes are small carnivores. Thirdly, the caribous, uh, which are well adapted to living on the tundra, are primary consumers. Including lemmings, insects, musk, oxes are primary consumers. Some of the abiotic factors affecting the organisms are the soil. Because the ground is frozen, many plants cannot survive the environment. And because the weather is harsh and changes quickly, many insects die and birds migrate during the summer to the tundra to take advantage of the dead insects available.